wait for, uh, for Mark Carney before it does more QE? Yeah, I think at this stage, given that we've seen some quite positive surprises coming through in the data, that certainly has seen to have dampened down the quantitative easing debate in the UK. So we are expecting at this stage for the Bank of England to remain on hold and not to take any further action. So as far as sterling is uh, concerned, I think we're sterling is still likely to try and push a little bit higher in the near term, benefiting from some of that uh, rebound in the data, as well as the more positive environment which has uh, developed over the course of uh, recent uh, days on the back of some uh, positive uh, news and data globally. So I expect uh, cable to uh, perhaps just push a little bit higher over the course of the, the coming week or so. But I do remain extremely cautious with regards to this uh, recovery. I do believe there are still many negative factors which are going to start to weigh mm -hmm. on sterling once these uh, once this positive impulse uh, runs its course. What about, um, what about the Eurozone now uh, and where the Euro is going? Slovenia going to present its uh, new reforms today. Um, will they do enough to avoid a bailout and, a, and wider repercussions? As, they, as far as the Euro is uh, concerned, we're going to obviously continue to have issues at the periphery of Europe. That's going to be an ongoing uh, problem which is going to come back to weigh on the, on, the, on the euro. But what we have noticed recently is that the euro has decoupled a little bit from some of those issues and decoupled from the developments within the, uh, the peripheral uh, bond markets uh, recently as well. So, so the euro is not actually being impacted quite so much by those developments at the periphery of Europe as the focus has switched more back onto the core of Europe, particularly with the, the recent uh, data swings which we've, uh, we've seen uh, since the beginning of the year. Obviously, there was some initial negative data coming from, uh, from uh, Germany and the core countries of Europe, which had been weighing on the euro. They've stabilized a little bit recently, but I would be paying a lot of attention to the German export data, mm. which mm. is due out tomorrow. Given that we've seen export data globally starting to slow down, with the exception of China, which has gone a little bit against the trends. So it'll be interesting to see how that German data comes in. If that comes in weak, then I'd actually expect the euro to come back under pressure once again. So again, we are quite cautious with regards to this euro recovery. All right.